Today I am going to show you how to we will do the geotube construction in the revetment area. So in this pyroport we are going to construction ongoing now for the revetment area using the geotube construction. So this is the east side is the river side. Here I have the tracel, the jetty tracel in uh, outside of the this drawing in, in this area have the jetty and this is tracel 1, tracel 2, tracel 3 and tracel 4. So in this area we will do the geotube construction. So if we cut the section like this then one section will become. So this is the this section. So these, these dotted lines are on, on bag. Layer by layer we will fill the big geotube bag by the sand with composite ge geotextile high strength. So after uh, the 1 is to 1 slope inside and 1 is to 2 slope outside. After geo bag is uh, filling complete according to this design then we out in this reverse side we will give on geotextile layer wrapped layer then we will give the class stones 400 mm then we will place the cc block then we will give the twist block for water breaking after after the at the top level we will give the crown for cc block cc block and pavement joint area Dear viewers, today I am going to show you how to make a geotube for geotube construction. So basically we are constructing the geotube at the east revetment of the pyra port as a slope protection. So here is our composite geotextile, oven and non-oven. This is the fiber reinforcement of fabric this the east is and according to the design we first sizing the cut the geotextile and sewing here have the stitcher stitch by our lady Chinese so here making the sleeves according to these sleeves we will fill the sand so in the bag top, on the top we making the sleeves for a six or eight sleeves according to the bag size so later we will place the geotube uh, bag in the location then we will set the pipeline in here then we will start the filling work so now he is make, she is making the sleeves So we are making sleeves, the stitching, double locking, double size. It's finished because the two times overlocking. Very so we have two machines. He have a double sewing and double, two times the needles is double sewing. Here have one machines and here have another machines to make it the, fill the requirement. So 
ना हो रहा फैब्रिक्स स्टिच इज कंप्लीट डबल लेयर एंड डबल सीविंग सो आफ्टर कंप्लीट दिस बैग वी चेक एंड मेक द रोल टू सीप इट द कंस्ट्रक्शन साइट सो कंसल्टेंट एंड द क्लाइंट दे ऑलवेज चेक द बैग इज इट ब्रोकन और एनी प्रॉब्लम then they mark it here in the manufacturing area so this bag size is 35 by 28 according to the our design we and label we making the bag size actually the construction of geo tube is bottom and top the sloping maintain so it's depend the bag size on the height and level and the design requirement dear viewers as i show you the manufacturing of the geo tube after geo bag manufacturing then we bring it to the site and placing as per the drawing coordinates uh, we have the rtk and other surveying materials so layer by layer we fill it in site by the sand you can see uh, here have the slope outside slope so <coughs> after fill the certain our design level the geo bag is installation in complete then outside have the cast stone and then cc block placing then for the slope protection so here you can see the our north side has been completed up to the level 4 so here you can see the sleeves these sleeves we use the pipe and then filling start so this kind of sleeves have here also so you can see the uh, our jt tracel one from the north side and fourth from the south side in between in tracel pile we are making a less with geo bag then filling it according to the pile also in this uh, case we highly con uh, concern about the side pressure to the pile if more pressure feedback from the geo bag filling then pile can be horizontal and vertical deflection so we highly maintain this one that's why we are making the small geo bag small size geo bag then After tessel area pass, then we are making again the big one geo bag as per the design and document. This is the tessel beam casting already finished. Then upper super structure slab has been remaining. Our honourable consultant come for visit. This side. This is the JT gangway. First, fourth tessel from the south side. First tessel from the tessel from the north side. Also, our consultant is checking this kind of bag. We need to this area already we have finished. this is reverse side and this is the yard container area there is a, our client engineer assistant engineer basir so this side will be solo protection work 
class uh, after this uh, due to uh, consul, uh, construction is finished then we will uh, give a wrapped by uh, geotextile materials then we will give a 300 mm class stone then we will placing the cc block for the protection of slope area we are going to from north side to south side the construction is ongoing in between the three and four gap of the tracel three from the south side and tracel two from the north side this is our consultant they come from punhau and ahead the PPA or client engineer as you can see the pipe through this pipe sand are pumping from the sand source area our sand source area from the yard part we have stored sand then we just uh, pumping from there uh, there to the geo bag placing area so this is high pressure pump only you can use through a long distance then here is placing the new geo bag for filling sand filling there are laborers and technicians and site engineers and surveyor also have so these are uh, pipeline the sand filling pipe and here are the rtk for taking the coordinate this is the surveyor We are using RPK for coordinate. So, so our new bag in first. Here we have been placing the geo bag. After checking the coordinate and everything as per design have, then we will start the filling. We will start the filling. Then now we will check the coordinate by the RTK. So here are the engineers and clients and everyone who will check the uh, bag placing is okay or not. So if it once okay then we can get start the uh, filling work so as you see we have uh, uh, done the geo bag manufacturing work in before at the year our manufacturing area then after manufacturing complete we bring it to site and placing like this then we have and actually for the high pressure pump it's uh, back if we uh, it also have water if we keep it uh, only then it go it will be go away that's why we have anchoring by the rope for anchoring the corner fourth corner side they, they have also then we can fix it the position then we will filling start after checking the coordinate is it at site this is the our tray jar for sand unloading to the yard filling part and that the fourth uh, station this is the third station and in ahead have two more tracel
this is the design coordinate we are placing the, the bag in the special area we are giving the instruction to this engineer for sand filling area have on the okie dokie they will start the filling work so the filling work will be start now now we are going to where is the uh, source where from the pumping the sand we will see we need to go by the UERC then this side have the filling source hello this is our uh, consultant surveyor and this is our CRCC personal surveyor yes. both are very very experienced uh, to the surveying work and the uh, supervision work they are both very excellent now they will give the signature as per design it is okay or not so they have already give the signature according to the placing of the back fourth corner is okay or not here have the coordinate of fourth corner uh, they have already checked by the rtk okay so it's okay and here have also a checklist here have also checklist so according to the checklist the which date is started and uh, which time is started how many labors are included in this work and the coordinate fourth corner the in the before page you see so we will keep it okay now we have other work yes in that area our filling work is started after our checking and they have the pipeline they have this is our source area where from they are pumping the sand This is the generator and the MDB and other electrical setup for pumping the motor. Uh, this area have. This is the area where from the filling is pumping from through the pipeline to the geo bag filling by the water pressure we are cutting the sand by the water pressure we are cutting the sand then the sand is coming to the down and downside have set up uh, the high pressure pump using the motor so this motor the pressure is very high pressure so it's uh, with the water sand go, go through the pipeline to the into the geo tube bag here also they have cutting the sand on the cutting cutting sand the sand is going to down the, from the downside the water and sand go to the geo bag through the high pressure pump pump and pipeline this is the pipeline we this motor is now is stop after some time it will be start so this is the procedure to filling the geo bag to make the revetment geo tube revetment or geo tube construction thank you for watching my videos and please share and like and comment to my video then i can inspire and encourage to uh, share more video thank you guys